welcome to this week's Coach's Corner Show. This week we have head baseball coach Rocky Musgraves. Uh, no, your calendar is not wrong. It is October, but uh, it is a big week for the baseball team as they'll be holding the Crusader World Series. And so wanted to talk a little bit about that last season and the upcoming season with Coach Musgraves. So thank you for joining us, Coach. You bet. Uh, let's talk about the upcoming week. Uh, big week for the guys, a uh, chance mm -hmm. to really show what they've got. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk about what's going on this week. Uh, this week we're having our World Series, and what we're going to do is we pick uh, captains, and they're going to pick teams, and then we're going to compete each other in what we call our steak and hot dog World Series. The winners get steaks uh, served by the losing team who will get uh, some pork and beans and hot dogs. So it will probably be a pretty competitive week. We'll play a best out of three series. Uh, this is kind of the final exam of the fall. Uh, you know, we hope – We'd like to see who steps up this weekend, which I'm sure a lot of the, the kids that we have will step up. So this is a big evaluation time for us as well. Uh, talk about the, the schedule. Right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, is that right. the plan? Wednesday and Thursday at 4.30, and then Friday at 7 o'clock. Uh, under the lights and then Saturday night we're going to meet uh, up in one of the suites and watch the volleyball game and have our uh, well have steaks or hot dogs depending on which team you're on. Uh, Friday night obviously a big night uh, no other events going on so everybody come out and watch the Crusader baseball team get a chance to look at the new Crusader mm -hmm. baseball team uh, uh, 16 new players mm -hmm. coming in is that well, right? We have 16 freshmen uh, five transfers and then we have 16 returners. So we have 37 players on the roster right now. Uh, so yeah, a great group, a really good chemistry group of returners, uh, as well as some new kids. How exciting is that for you, bringing in basically your first team here at Northwest mm -hmm. Nazarene? Well, I, the part that I've really enjoyed has been the teaching part. Uh, and, you know, I just wish we weren't so uh, strangulated by these NCAA rules, you know, I'd, we'd love to teach these and work with these guys some more because they're so receptive. They're very much like sponges. And what's been nice is the older guys have done a great job too of, of helping us get things moving a little bit quicker because they've been working with the younger guys too. So it's, it's just such an exciting time. Uh, last year, obviously folks know the team was uh, one base runner, one, one run away yeah. from making the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, how much of that has driven this year's team? Oh, quite a bit. We talk about one base all the time. We talk about one run all the time. You just can't take things for granted. Um, you know, I, I, I think we've, our, we've improved our offense to the point where we can make up for that, you know, one or two runs. I think last year we lost 14 one-run ball games. So I think that we've addressed that issue. Uh, I'm very encouraged by our pitching our, uh, this fall. It's come a long way. Of course, we don't have that bond, but I think we're a lot deeper this year. Aaron Vaughn, you mentioned uh, the all-time winner, uh, all-time record holder for wins here at mm -hmm. NNU. He got a nice opportunity. How nice is it to see guys going on to be part of major league programs mm -hmm. uh, with Vaughn and then Jamie Mitchell also? Well, it helps you sell your program. You know that hey, you can you know you come to NNU, you're going to get a chance. Uh, we're going to train you to the point where hopefully you get a chance to play professional baseball. And you know, looking at the players that we have in the program, I would be very shocked if over the next you know four or five years, if, if there wasn't uh, you know a few more that had the opportunity. Should mention Aaron Vaughn during the, during the summer signed with the Houston Astros and Jamie Mitchell. Uh, late uh, spring, early summer, signed with the Tampa Bay Rays, and both had pretty good uh, summer seasons uh, playing professional baseball. So congratulations to them. Uh, talk about the excitement for the coming season. Uh, new faces, new attitude, and uh, I know that uh, there's an expectation that you're going to be in the championship game maybe. Right, right, right. Well, you know, you're real careful with expectations when you have 16 freshmen. Uh, Funny things happen when they put on a uniform and go between those white lines. And, uh, you know, I think, though, that we have some really core character kids that have that strong heart. I don't think we have to worry about that. But, again, you know, uh, we'll wait and see what happens when we get between the white lines. I want to thank you for joining us today. Good you luck bet. this week to the guys. Look forward to seeing some baseball this week. Thank you, brother. Me too.
Crusader men's and women's soccer teams both were in action over the weekend here in Nampa. The Crusader women took on Western Oregon, and Lexi Fessenbeck, shown here, became the all-time leader in assists with her 11th assist on the season in the game against Western Oregon. The Crusaders fell to the Wolves 3-2, and NU had a goal waved off, shown here, by Sarah Jenkins, though Nicole Insa did team with Sarah Bloom for a pretty goal in the first half that gave the Crusaders a 1-0 lead. On Saturday, Northwest Nazarene's women's team lost 1-0 to St. Martin's. In other action on the weekend, the NNU men hosted Simon Fraser. The Crusader men fell 1-0 to the clan, despite plenty of chances to win the game. NNU quickly bounced back on Saturday and picked up the victory, getting a 2-0 win over Western Washington, as Alfredo Ontiveros made six saves to earn his seventh shutout of the season. Welcome back. We're joined by a senior from the volleyball team, Michelle Terpstra, team captain and setter. Been here four years, and she's kind of seen it all in the last few years. Tell me, uh, how, uh, how exciting is this season been for the team? This season has been a dream come true for me and for everybody on the team. It's gone, I don't want to say past our expectations, because I, I did expect to be this good. Um, I don't know that I expected us to be this successful this early, but I mean, where we're at right now is unbelievable, and it's really exciting. How nice is it? I know after last season, everybody's focus was just make nationals, but now you guys, you're in first place, potential of a conference championship, and regional rankings will be coming out soon. There's a potential you could host the national tournament, right. not just be in it. Right. How exciting is that? It's really exciting. It's it's always fun to be successful and to get wins. And um, like you said, last season we just wanted to make the national tournament. But this season our focus has been on making the national tournament is kind of a given for us if like, we need to make it. But now it's we could host the regional tournament and we could go really far in nationals. And that's a really great place to be in. And they're good goals to have. We're excited. What is it that's so different this year from – even last year when you guys had an exceptional team? I think last year we, nobody knew how we were going to be. We had a new coach. We had the same team, but we had a new coach, and nobody really expected NNU to be anything great. But last year I think we proved ourselves to be a really good team, and we didn't end up where we wanted to end up last year. So this year... We have a lot of fire, and I think we have a target on our backs a little bit this year because people saw how good we were last year and because they see now that we have this fire that nothing's going to get in our way right now, which is really cool. A target on your back. And yet you're <laughs> first in the conference, 19-2 and two overall. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't seem like that's been a problem. No, no. It's, it's kind of a good thing. I think that we're trying to stay humble in this – victorious time we're doing really well but at the same time we're not satisfied with where we're at right now and um, we kind of are the team to beat right now but that's a really good place to be in and we take that very seriously. Talk about uh, the four-year experience for you. Uh, how has this changed as you've been here? It's I feel like as a volleyball player and as a person I've come a really far really long ways. Um, I think I've gotten better as a volleyball player and I've gotten better as a person and as far as the team goes, it's gotten better as the years have gone on. I think my freshman year I didn't know what to expect um, and it was a lot of fun. Sophomore year, didn't win as many games as I wanted to but I learned a lot along the way. Um, junior year it was really fun having a new coach and we were really good and so that was a lot of fun but didn't end up where we wanted to be so this this season is the last chance I have and it's I think that we're in a really good spot right now, and I'm having a blast. It's been really fun. How, how unique was it a situation? You came in as a freshman. Mm -hmm. You and Caitlin shared the responsibilities as setter. Mm -hmm. And then the second season, you take over as the full-time setter. How, how unique of a situation has that been? Um, it's been really a unique situation. Our Caitlin's in my freshman year. Neither of us had ever hit before, and we shared responsibility hitting and setting. And it was a lot of fun. I mean, I think that we were, 
we didn't know that we could do what we could do back then and it was a lot of fun and we learned a lot about ourselves and then looking forward we just kind of decided that she was a better hitter and I was a better setter and so we decided to stick with it and it was a lot of fun and I think that we took on those roles really well and very graciously and um, since then it's just it's been a blast it's been successful. And you get to play with your sister for two years now. Yeah. Uh, was that a big deal for you guys? Was that important to get this opportunity in college to play together again? Huge deal. Um, I can't even describe what a blessing it is to have her here and to play with her. Um, I've always looked up to her since I was little and to have her here and to be teammates and equals and to just um, be able to have that success together and to go on this journey together. It's, it's an indescribable experience and I wouldn't change it. You guys having a great season. It's your senior year. Obviously, it means a lot to have this kind of year as a senior. Where, where do you want to finish? What, uh, what will be a success? What will you be happy with when you oh, finish gosh. your career? Oh, I don't know if I can put a specific spot as a successful season, but I think that if we keep playing how we're playing, um, I think we can go a really long ways and. Wherever we end up is where we end up, and I'm going to be satisfied because this team is great and our coaches are great and this school is great, and we have a lot of support behind us. So I'm going to be proud with wherever we're at. Saturday night, senior night. You looking yep. forward to the, the flowers, <laughs> the nerves, all of that? Oh, man. It hasn't quite hit me yet. I think it might then, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Well, I appreciate you joining us. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations on a great season so far. Thank you very much.